Obviously, the Gospels show you he came, none of us can keep the so-called law, no matter for goodness sake or whatever, you know. So that's kind of ridiculous to even put those things out in a public place. It's very righteous. And the word religion is a terrible word. Jesus didn't come to establish religion. I believe he came to establish faith in him who can then enable us. So that is a big uh, distraction when people do these monument things. And unfortunately, Roy Moore, he was a true believer. He would be humbled and say, hey, I did this. I'm down on my knees before the Lord, and I'm telling you guys, I did it. Like Louis C.K., granted, it was disgusting what he did, terrible. But it seems, compared to everyone else, he pretty much came out and said, I was an idiot. I did these things. So Christianity is very, very right now. I call it bad press for Jesus and bad press for the Father. It's awful. And I am a believer, and I hate to see this, because if you really delve into what Jesus wanted and what he says, I think of all of us, atheists or not, said, all right, just show me the truth. Went out to the beach and did it, as a friend of mine once did. Just get ready, because your mind will be blown. If we listen to those around us sometimes who are interpreting his word wrongly, then it's a good, like, reason to say, well, I don't believe in that. Remember, it's not the people, it's your own search. Once you see him... He'll work on you personally, and you'll have your relationship. So I think Roy Moore, I'm not saying you could, you know, be sure he wouldn't do it again, but I wish he would walk the walk, get on his knees, and, you know, we all do terrible things sometimes. This is horrible. He can't be using the name of the Lord and Jesus, in my opinion. It's not the truth. So that's what I'm going to say. But where are you going to be talking? Because I want to come and hear you. Oh, great. I'd love to meet you, uh, Patty. We, we have uh, different religious views, but to me, it's not so important what your uh, professed religious beliefs are. It's how you act and what you do in life. Yes. Because That's from what I can gather, there's good and bad David. Christians, good and bad Jews, good and bad atheists. So we should see what we have in common, and I'm guessing we would have a lot in common about how we treat our fellow human beings. There are parts of the Bible that I like, the love your neighbor, do unto others. And I think we could connect on a lot of issues. Maybe uh, we have more in common than either of us has in common with Roy Moore and well, other yeah, liars and hypocrites. With people like that, the bottom line is it's hard. As a, he's claimed he believes, and I, you know, I got to forgive him, but I'm like, but wait a minute here. You need to go the step further. And what's happening is he's not behaving. And he's a government official. None of us, all of us falling short of the glory. But when you're out there in public, whether it's the president or whatever, I believe the Lord holds you to a higher standard because you're out there. So you better, if you claim him, you know, be walking the walk because you're influencing and you're causing things. So that's what gets me all upset and I have to struggle mm -hmm. with. I want to, you know, pull him off the stage. And, you know, I have to go through my own stuff and go, Lord, help me. Help me. <laughs>
Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Patty. All right. Good to talk to you. Well, you're listening to WMNF.